Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. This is Steve Five Tom. How's it going? Welcome to episode 23 of our Drazwith playthrough. Before we jump in, though, just a little reminder to like and subscribe if you guys have been enjoying the content I've been releasing. Uh, Izzy and I would very much appreciate it. And also, uh, in the description below, there's a link to my Twitter and uh, Discord. So if you'd like to stay up to date with when I'm going live and also when I release these episodes, as soon as I release them, uh, I do post that on my Twitter. Uh, and the occasional picture of Izzy. Uh, and also the Discord. Uh, feel free to join and just hang out. We look, do looking for groups. Uh, I'm going to be starting movie nights probably once a week or so uh, with your guys' suggestions. Uh, and then also just to play post memes and stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you guys would like to meet like minded fellow nerdy uh, gamer friends, yeah, hop on in and join. So, with that said, let's, uh, let's dive in. Let's do this. So, we'd last off. Uh, Left off, I should say, a uh, last episode with taking high on Newport here, uh, which is a big blow, big blow to Zhao. Zhao's not happy about that. Um, I'm not sure where I want to go next. We've got Kugi here to act as a screen for us. Uh, Reishi's down here, our latest army. We recruited him to fend off a rebellion, which we take. I think we took care of that. Yeah. Yeah, we did. We did. That was uh, not too much of uh, a hindrance, though. I think it was pretty easy to take care of. So we could get rid of this army if we wanted to free up some finances. I might do that. Probably will, actually. Um, and we've been bringing in a Drasweth, rushing him over here, westward here, to intervene against Emric and Tretch, who have some unholy alliance going on. They're not actually allied, but they uh, are not at war with one another, and they are both at war with us, so they will um, basically fight together, so to speak, against us. Um, we also have Grimgore to the north. I haven't seen him yet, but I can tell he's lurking up there. He's snooping about. He's at war with us. We need to be careful of him. Uh, that initially, I had Drazwith go up there, but with uh, the emergence of Emmerich to the west, I uh, decided to rush rush our main army down here quickly to intervene. Uh, and then we have Kurgash here, who's been kind of farming caravans, more or less, who unfortunately have been nerfed recently. Um, but you know what? We've got to make it work. We've got to do what we can do. Uh, and it's, you know, it's out of our control. We make the best of it. Um, so, let's just, uh, well, mm, should we fight this? I don't know. We may. This is not a bad little army here. Uh, we can easily win. I'm not worried about that. It's more so about preventing unnecessary casualties, um, if we were to auto it. Because I do have forces over here we need to, we need to contend with. Emmerich's got a scary army. He's not on his dragon yet, fortunately. But, uh, I think he gets that 18. Yeah, so he's got a little ways off there. Um... Let's let's just see what it's like here. Decisive blow. It brings in the garrison. Oh, it brings in the garrison. In that case, yeah, it's just that's no question. We'll out of that. No problem. Cool. Let's just grab the money. Nice. So this lord here, Kurgash, has been getting leveled up um, primarily to fighting caravans. It's pretty awesome, actually. We've got this little hero here. Let's give him life leeching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's basically a little uh, spirit leech battery. Okay, I'll pop you back in there. We have these guys, um, which is more of an emergency recruit. Uh, they're very expensive. And I'd rather not have them in the army if I don't need them. But, again, we're going to need some... They're into infantry, right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay, and shield breaker. Yeah, and they're how fast are they? Not very fast at all. They're sixties to speed, so about the same speed as like a corn juggernaut, juggernaut of corn, uh, or a skull crusher, or the juggernauts for the skull crushers and the blood crushers. Um, hmm, no harm. We could set a little trap here and try to convince or attempt Emmerich to come over to the fortress a bit closer. He can't reach it, but he can march. Right next to it, if he wants it. And there's a hero here. Hi. This little hero might pull us out of a potential ambush, but we could try. Let's give it a shot. While we wait for Drazwith, let's just, yeah. It probably won't work. It's almost guaranteed not to work, but it's. it. There is a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. There's there's a slim one. And it's, yeah, it's just terrible 40% chance here. Yeah. Whatever. We'll try it out. Basically, I'm going to try to attempt to pretend I'm not, I'm not here with an army. See if we can bait them over to catch them off guard, march dance or something. Uh, this would give us another capacity for a demon sorcerer, a demon smith sorcerer. Um, but, let's see. What lures do we have access to? Fire, death, a shit, and metal. Right, okay. Um... 
That would be most of our armaments. We're making about 200 a turn, but I don't know. We can get Kadai already, I believe. Yeah, up here. Oh, wait, no, we can't. Oh. Well, let's definitely build this then. Oh, it's 450 here, right? Because we have buildings in place that make things cheaper. Is it this one? Is that what makes things cheaper? No, that lowers. No, that increases raw material output. All right. It's one of these buildings. Let's go ahead and do that. I want some Kadai. That's one of the purposes of this campaign in general, was to try them out in Drazwith's army because he does buff them up a bit. Uh, and we lost our original one that we had in the army. It died, so <laughs> it would be nice to get at least one more. Maybe ten. Maybe ten. All right. Let's see. Let's allocate a point here. He's almost level 20. God. Fingermass has been through a lot, guys. He's been through a lot. He's still alive. Um, God. He's come several times close to dying. Um, what do I want? Further red line. We probably should. Hold on, just look. What is this? This is for artillery, I assume. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I want artillery in this army eventually, but we're just... Um, Oh, this buffs up Gaba Archers. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. He's not a caster himself. He's an overseer, so I'm putting... Yeah, I think redlining initially is probably the best bang for your buck. Point for point. Unless you were a caster. Um, you know. Whereas this guy, he is a caster. Well, we've unlocked these now. These mutually exclusive things at the top. Um, that one's nice. I like the wind's powers or plus three per turn. Uh, and the other two benefits are, are nice as well, for sure. Unbreakable and Perfect Vigor, both very good traits. Um, but I think buffing up magic is probably better for the type of uh, character he is. What other one's his third one here? Replenishment, oof. I and mean, also very tempting. And Vigor Loss Reduction for um, the whole army. And then plus three for... Uh, centaurs and monsters. Okay, so the big griblies. Uh, that's good too. Replenishment. I do like replenishment. It's very, very important. I'd say my least interest, the least interesting one uh, for this particular character, I'd say, is this of the three. This is probably the best. Uh, but you know, more importantly, we want access to these uh, uh, AOE spells. At least one of them. At least one of them. Yeah, we need that. We've been trying. We've been surviving over here without. Vortex spells, and uh, as the past last few episodes have shown, it's tough. It's tough. It's doable, but uh, yeah, not having access to, to AOE magic is makes things uh, a bit tougher. Oftentimes, all right. So we acquired Hanu Port. We came with this. Well, it came with its port. We've got this building here, which should be giving us another capacity for a hero. Yeah, look at that. Mm, oh yeah. So which one though? Uh, eh, it's okay. Nah. Callus, what's this one? Oh, that was not bad. That's actually not bad. I like this. From sacking and post battle loot and labor gain post battle. You know what? You know what? I think I'm gonna do it. We're doing it. Speaking of heroes, Gore does his back from being wounded, and we moved him up. We're going to pop him in the army here soon. Let's take Luktaz here, and I think I'm going to keep scouting a little further northwest. Okay, we didn't discover anything. That's uh, that's good. Shenging would be a nice capital to have as well. There's spices there, and uh, I, I hear through the grapevine that uh, Chaos Dwarves like their spices. Little flow. Okay. That might be our next target. I'm not sure. We need to do a little scouting over this way as well. Uh, but I don't want Gordas to do that. Okay, let's just sit here and replenish. What else could I build here at the moment? Oh, yeah, I think that's important. Let's just build this thing everywhere. That's, that, this thing's nuts. The Drakewick battery is just... It's nuts. Uh, and then, let's see... Probably the growth one. Well, the growth ones are... Um, Elsewhere, the minor, the minor settlements. Uh, in this case, let's just go money. Whoop. Whoop. What does it do at the max level? Just straight up, seven fifty to eight ninety two. Wow, yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Um, Drazwith's moved. Has this hero moved? Castable. No, he hasn't. We're rushing him down as well. Let's pop him in this army. Can he make it? Uh, hold on. Move you. We'll move you up here so the hero can make it. Nice, he increases mobility after all, cool. 
I think that's about it. Oh, I'm assigned skill points probably for our... Who is this? Oh, our new guy. Right, our new guy. He's going to be going in army. Um, hmm, we don't have a lot of artillery to buff up. But he still would buff up. Um, it's extra powder. That would be good for, yeah, artillery. He's similar, very similar, obviously, to a uh, uh, dwarf engineer. Vanguard. Oh, right, this determines whether he's more of a sniper or a blunderbuss dude. Let's just go with mobility, first of all. Okay, cool. I think that's about it. Let's wait to dispatch a caravan. We're pretty low on money and other stuff, so... Moving on. Okay. Holy crap, I just noticed uh, Meow's balance of power, and it's pretty high. It's about equal to ours, so it could be an issue. Definitely could be an issue. We'll be seeing her forces probably here soon. Okay, well, at least her, one of his brothers, or her brothers, I should say, has taken a massive blow here. What? Who got wounded? Ah. Uh, was it this guy, the guy I popped in the army? Oh, yeah, the guy I put in just immediately got wounded by one of these heroes. Gosh. Alright, they're gonna pay. And they didn't take the bait either. Um. Trasmith doesn't even have any heroes. I should have put the Castlin probably in his army. Eh. Let's do this. I'm gonna take the fight to them. Let's get these little dudes. Stars done. A waste of talents. Okay. Dumfaumancy! We could turn you into a little tempting stack here. Let's try this. This could be a mistake. We do have Tretch over here. Tretch was really smashed up, though. He was in bad shape and in no no shape to take either of our armies on, let alone both of them. So I think he ran away to replenish. Immercover is in good shape. Let's try to catch him off guard. Let's try to get him in a little ambush here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no, we're not pig barter. Oh, crap. Reishi. Get up here, buddy. Oh, attrition. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. okay, good news is we have a battery here. We did build a battery, um, and we have a pretty good garrison. But this is near... Is this a 20 stack? I think it is. Yeah, 19. All right. They marched up here. Uh, they were probably down here. Ruins and Yeah. Okay, we may need to grab a lord there to have on hand. We'll see what we got in the pocket here, the back pocket. We need to make some cash, though. We could run up here to Zen Wu. Um, we probably should. Shang Wang wouldn't be bad either. What other settlements are in this province here? Just Zen Wu. Okay, let's go for that, then, so we can complete this province. Um, let's fuse these guys together. Just be a bit more. There we go. Complete. And then... Let's bring up him. Come up here. No popping gore does. We should still have the movement to reach that move. Yeah, good. Okay. Byroz, let's get you here. I want you to heal up. It's important that he stays at pretty high health. Alright, and now, let's just smash his end and we get some cash. Decisive low. I think we're gonna auto it. Yeah, that's fine. And let's establish. We have an outpost. We have a tower. Let's make this a factory. Cool. Gorda's leveled up. Nice. Um, what does this do? Oh yeah, it's summon. Cool. Yeah, I want to go for that. That's cool. Forgot he had that. All right, Sen Wu. Let's build. We're out of man. We are. Yeah, we are. We're low. I probably should have built, actually. I should have built this as an outpost for more raw materials. Oh, well. It's all right. We can't do this. We have commandment now. Let's go with that for now. And then here we can go with, I think, raw materials. Yeah. Let me get those materials up. Ah, pig barter. Crap. Maybe I should refund some of that money. Grab a lord instead. Um, 
please tell me Grimgore didn't, didn't show up here. No, I don't see Grimgore. That's good. That is good. He go over here and raid, too. Oh, right. Gumba. Um, what army do I want him in? Probably... This guy doesn't have a hero. I, I think I want him in this army, though. Finger Mass is... Well... Byros is a caster and doesn't have a tank in his army. Alright, we'll put him in... We'll put him in Byros' army. Still... To help chalk him out a little bit. Okay. Let's move. Lupta. Should we go further north or we should come back here? I feel like... Ooh. Um... Let's go up north just a bit more. Just this turn. Okay, good. No armies. Good, good, good. I was a bit scared to see like three stacks of Meow just sitting right there looking her chops. That would be scary. Alright, I think we're ready to move on here. Let's check the police real quick though. Let's talk to Astrogoth. Oh god, he's getting smashed up there. Her liability is very low. Oh god. Um... Well, the servant to the conclave. Maybe they'll help you fight a war? No, no. That's, yeah, they probably won the ball. Uh, okay, let's look down here. Is there any potential allies? The Skaven all hate us. I don't necessarily want to fight the Skaven. Can we, can we, can we be buddies? I can't even get a non-aggression if I agree to this. Ugh. Hmm. At least we're not war with them yet, but we probably will be. We, have, we really do have our hands full. Hopefully this baits over somebody, though. A.K.A. Emmerich. Let's see what happens. Oh, Kugi. He's our one buddy. And he wants non-aggression. Good, okay. Despite us having very low. Excellent. Means he's desperate, but you know what? It's okay. He's been a help already. He's been a big help, quite literally. And, um... Yeah, we're not even allied yet, so that's that's good. He's still acting as a roadblock over there in the east for us. Which I'm thankful for. Alright, oh, nothing happened? What? Let's see, construction cost minus 25% for military recruitment buildings or infrastructure. Let's go with infrastructure. Yeah. Someone else got wounded? Oh my god. Our dude got wounded. Who is wounding us here? I think it's... Is it this guy? I bet it's this little... This little shit. I bet it's you. Well, it's one of these two guys. It's one of those two guys. They both need to die. Alright. As I suspected, Imric did come out here. I can see his entire army. He's got a fire mage. Two units of cav. His army is... It's not bad, but it's not amazing. Oh shit, he's on his dragon now. Damn it, I thought he got his dragon at 18. He gets it to 14. Okay, the silver lining in that, though, is that the dragon is a bigger target, at least. So it's a bit easier to shoot. And Big Barter, yep, sure enough, got Siege. Let's check the what's, what's happening here. Pyrrhic victory. Um, No losses. That is a lot of nobles. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of nobles. Hmm. Uh, it'd be a shame if they all died. Hey, look at that. The power of armored garrisons. Especially with batteries. We'll take the money. And we got a... Oh, aborted. Damn it. I wanted a potion of toughness. Oh, well. Uh, okay, well, we desperately needed that money. That's good. We're not sieged here. Kugi's coming back this way. He saw us in need. And he's like, I've got it. I'll get there. It's going to take me a little while while I waddle. Okay, any armies up here? Let's let's stop going north. I'm going to bring you back up here. I want to get an eyes on this little channel here. Oh, got a caravan there. Okay, Shang Wu has stayed still. Let's take Gordas and scout this direction. A little more. Okay. That place is clear. Okay, Xing Long would be... A nice little choke point to have as well. Okay. We need to keep pushing. We need to keep pushing. So let's um, let's move up this way. And by Ross, let's bring you up here. I'm going to pop you into ambush stance. Uh, well, we kind of... Ooh, 90% there. Damn, that's pretty impressive. So next turn, we should be able to reach Shang. We'll march Thingramaz. We could smash it. We'll get some omelets going. 
It'll be good. Alright, what can I build? Um, what do I want over here? Do we want local access to hobgoblins? I kind of think so, maybe. Yeah, I kind of think so. Okay, Nimrick. This might be a showdown throwdown. Let's see, let's bring you over in that stance. Now, by attacking with both armies, he probably will run. Um, whereas if I just attacked with Drazwith, he would he probably would stay and fight. Let's try this anyways. We can probably catch him. Our movement range is pretty far by the looks of it. Uh, Alright, let's do this. Okay, yeah, he's running. Here we go. God, he can move pretty far, can he? Uh, can I not reach him now? Can this guy reach him? No, not even close. Well, crap. Um, I didn't think he could run that far. Oh, shit. Let's try this. He's probably just gonna go back here and garrison. If he does, then we're just we'll, we'll attack him and while he's while he's garrison there. Want to push on him as well? What's his strength rating? Let's check. Okay, he's fairly weak right now. Let's yeah, let's finish him off. Get rid of this guy. Maybe by doing that, Queek will like us more. And we can get a non-aggression with Queek. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Still no sign of Grimgore, thankfully. Uh, we do have some... I don't know if I should invest in these places. I feel like it might just be kind of a waste of money. They're going to get hit by Grimgore. And probably Greasy as well, who's likely going to build himself back up. He's got a capital there and probably a camp. So I don't know. Boys want some Gordas. Gordas, crap. I need you down here in the army for some experience. Um. Oh well, well, it's all right. What to do in terms of tech? No, no. We need lots of raw materials for that. Let's move over to line of sight plus fifteen percent for settlements and some extra control. That wouldn't be bad. Is this capacity? Okay, for sorcerers, that wouldn't be bad. Okay, that's for bulls. What is this here? Hmm. Winds reduction costs for a couple different spells, including Spirit Leech. This guy's base chance reduction. So he's never there. Yeah. That's interesting up there. Mm, definitely some good stuff. This is nice. Plus three wins, all armies, power reserve per turn. Wait, no, is that per turn? Yeah, per turn. That is actually a lot. But military. That's 500 armaments, which we can afford for upkeep reduction. That's not bad. About over here, martial training, unit experience gain. Income from raiding. I haven't been raiding very much. Ambush success, 10%. Uh, reinforcement range, plus 25%. That's nice. You know what? These are actually pretty good here. Let's go with that. We have the armaments. We're making quite a few armaments per turn, actually. Um, so I think we can justify spending that. Okay. Should we repair this? Mm, sure. Okay, I think that's about it. Yep, moving on. Oh, he's falling back. Damn it, he saw us. These pesky heroes. Hmm. We could just attack him with Drasweth. Should we do that? Yeah, we probably should. I think we can take him. I think we can do it. Uh, oh wait, oh we need to check his miss or his fire resistance. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh let's see, let's put Yeah, so it's dash. about 50-50, maybe just slightly in our favor. Um So he A won't run. We can fight him. Ease we can fight him. I think we can do it. So what's let's check his stats though. What is his fire resistance? Only 25%. 25, 10%. Okay. He hasn't reached a really final form yet. He's still fairly low level. God, his stats are still really good, though. Um, poof. Blunderbusses. They can do it. They'll shred him. Yeah, the Blundies, and we got some Fire Glaives. Which, yeah, Fire Glaives won't do as much because they do fire and damage. Whereas these don't. The blun Yeah, we'll use the Blundies to shred him up. Uh, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, yeah, let's fight him. Let's do this. 
Let's see, what kind of gear should we swap around, if anything? Uh, oh, definitely the mirror shield. Let's take that back. Good. Talisman. Uh, let's give you back. Let's see. Do we have a talisman of preservation? I don't think so. No, we don't. Um, fire breath. Three uses. Uh, crown of skulls. All right, that gives them regen. Heck yeah. It's actually quite good. Melee attack and AP damage. Sure, take that. That's fine. Extra charge bonus. And yeah, I want a banner of swiftness. That'll help. We don't want that. Right. Okay, good enough. Good, that's better. That's better. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Close slow. We could just auto it. I think we're gonna fight this though. So we, we, we need a good boy. Let's charge bonus. Should I put... Oh, wait. Banner Swiftness? Yeah. Oh, God, that's what I thought I'd equip. There we go. Who gets the charge bonus? I guess these chumps. Uh, who needs some extra leadership? Mm, sure. Wait, these guys are already unbreakable, aren't they? No, never mind. They're not. Okay. Um, close low, really. And he stayed to fight? Really? Oh, we got our bombardment. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to fight it. I probably should have just outed it to get the full wipe, but... Uh, Hey, we need, we need a good fight. Okay, so our army's actually fairly well-rounded. We don't have any artillery. It's the one thing I'd say we're lacking, but we do have some mobility. We have some good firepower. We have chaff. We have a quality front line, a mobile caster lore. So lots of stuff in our favor here. But they, too, also have a fairly well-rounded army. We don't have any heroes in ours, so that's another weak spot. But at least our lord's very well-rounded. Okay, let's look around. Um, this map, I, I like to fight back here because this flank's fairly secure on our left here, and also on the right there's forest, so it's kind of you're kind of nestled back here. Yeah, I like this. It'll give us a little time to um, maneuver around and build up winds too. So we'll take our army and kind of pull back to this area. the The, the issue with it though is that we're close to the edge of the map. But it's okay. Our quality will hold. I'm hoping. Um, the firing lines of sight, though, are not the greatest. Maybe this hill would be better? Hmm. Is this elevated over here at all? Actually, this kind of is elevated just a little bit. You know what? I think we're going to go with this instead. There's just a slight amount of elevation across here that I think it would justify uh, putting our blundies over there. You see it? It's like it's just it's just enough to give them a little a little edge. So let's move you guys like this. We'll definitely spread you out. Um, I think the iron sword I want in the center actually. We'll put them maybe like right here. They have a bit longer range. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then our warriors. Let's see. We'll put you guys. We'll space out the renowned ones like that. There. I like that. Yeah. Uh, these guys have grenades, which is pretty, pretty dope. I'm trying to have them kind of back a little bit to get some volleys off. Kind of like that. And then our chaff. I don't want our chaff getting blown up by those grenades. Um, or maybe I maybe I do. All right, stay in front of them actually until you throw your throw your loads. There you go. And then we'll move you right about there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Space out a little bit. He, oh, they do have fire magic. Actually, what spells does she have? Hold on. Hold on. No, oh, she's not on the dragon. Thankfully, where is she? Where are you? Okay, she might be in the forest. She's probably in the forest. Oh, well, we'll find, we'll, yeah, not a big deal. We'll find her. Okay, let's try to bait over some of their mobility first and get rid of that. Getting rid of these dragon princes would be nice. How much room on the right flank is there to hit us? There's actually quite a bit of room over here for the, the little craps to maneuver around, so we need to be ready for that. We're going to have to spread out that direction. I think we have enough bodies to kind of fill the gaps, though, so to speak. 
So I'll shift some blundies that way and probably infernal glaze and have them fire off in this direction. All right, let's get our mobility ready to go too. Let's see, you three. I think you're gonna be in your own group and these guys are gonna be in a group as well, the ones with our, uh, bows. Come over here. Actually, no, they could be the ones to go bait those units towards us. We'll keep them right about here. These guys, the other ones that uh, don't have bows, we'll keep over here. They can maybe get on some archers, but yeah. Even that task might be too much for them. We'll see. They can at least occupy uh, some archers' attentions and keep a few units distracted. They get wiped out, whatever. They're renowned, you know, who cares? Alright, I think that's about it. Oh, guard mode. There we go. Okay, let's do this. We got our breath. Alright, spread out a little bit more. Alright, we need to see if we can get the attention of some dragon princes and shred them. Where are our firing positions here? Decent. There we go, cool. Alright, let's see. These eagles are going to be able to catch us fairly easily. Um, are they low th threat? Yeah, they are. Okay. Ow. That's right. Waddle over there. There's a lot of room to maneuver. If we need to intercept and crash in with draws, we can. We, we do have barrier. Alright, let's get these dragon princes. This is good. They're building up winds, and we have three bombardments to use. I want to wait till we're engaged, though, because the AI is actually quite good at juking. Which means, by juke, I mean dodge. That's all that means. Dodge. I'm not trying to do damage here necessarily. I'm just trying to get their attention. Here they come. Okay. Come on, commit. Okay. That is fire damage, right? Yeah, what's their fire resistance? It's actually not as high as I thought. Come on. Come on. Make sure there's archers there. Shit, that was a bad idea. Don't stick. Move, 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 move. I had to see those archers. Come on. Stupid little dragon princess. Quite annoying. I was trying to distract some of their units and take them on a wild goose chase. Maybe we can even get Emmerich to come over. That would be ideal. Shit. Uh, okay. Blundies, you need to be careful here. Oh, this thing's janky as heck. You guys need to run through here, actually. Here we go. Here we get some shots on him. Good, 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 good. Oh, good. Emmerich's, Emmerich's chasing him. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Can we keep going, keep going. That's perfect, perfect. If they want to stay there, that's fine. Good breath. Oh! Nice. Good, 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 chumps. Dragons here. Shit. Good. Over here. Emmerich, keep going. Or not Emmerich, but... 
Yeah, keep going. That's fine. I don't care if you guys take much casualties. It's worth it. It's worth the distraction. Um, let's move up this way. We need to put some pressure on these. We need to get rid of the cab, ideally. Uh, let's get rid of them right there. I guess we need to get on top of them. Keep going, keep going. That's perfect. Distracting Emmerich is huge here. You guys need to shred. These guys. I should get rid of the dragon. That's one unit down there. You guys start shooting at them. You guys need to get on some archers. Show melee. 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 All right, let's get you out. Just stay on them. Let's see. I want you guys to take out um, these guys right here. Yep, good. Okay, keep shooting the dragon. Uh, where should I drop this? It's hard. It's a tough choice. Tough choice. Let's try it, like, right here. Let's try to clip these spearmen. Let's get you back in there. I want you to cycle charge. You guys come up this way. Good. You guys move up. Get rid of them. At least to get those guys moving. Alright, good. Over here. Now, using breath attacks is dangerous from being shot at by a bunch of uh, units here. Let's get you guys there. Oh, there's their fire caster. There she is. Alright, let's get up there then. There we go. Good damage. Good damage. Oof, they are in our guns here. Careful. Keep shooting at them. You get on them. You get on them. Uh, actually, keep using this. Oh, uh, not there. How about right there? Here comes Zimric, though. Zimric's got a lot of balance of power. We need to keep our archers, not our archers, but our, our guns. You chase them off. Okay, rip them off. Rip them up. Good. Alright, watch out. You need to watch out. You need to watch out. You guys keep cutting Zimric if you can. You keep running. Let's finish off that dragon if we can. Good, stab. Here, watch out. You guys need to finish off these guys. You need to shoot them. We need to shoot Emmerich when he comes in, though. Oh, you guys need to move up. Blast these guys here if you can. You guys just start wrapping around. You guys get on them. Let's get some wrap around this way. Let's drop this right about there. We'll stay on those guys there. All right, we're bringing up. Rip those guys up. Good, good shots, good shots. Here comes Emmerich. Let's get ready to shoot him. Can we scatter those guys there? Here, put it that way and shoot down these guys. Alright, start lighting up Emmerich. Good, good shots on Emmerich now. We need to go beat these Dragon Princes a little bit. Do we have any rallied units? No, we don't. It's okay. Stay on top of those archers. You stay on top of them. Keep them from shooting. Let's push into these guys here. Good, see we ripped up those spearmen there. Beautiful, beautiful shots. Alright, we need to get on Emmerich now. Emmerich's taking good damage. Let's get back in the air with our lord. Chase off those dragon princes. Good. Finish off those guys. Emmerich is actually pretty close to being in range. Just kind of kite him back this way. The glaze back on him. Oh, the dragon princes rallied. That's unfortunate. Let's get ready. Okay, Emmerich, as he comes across. Good. Good damage on Emmerich. Keep attacking him this way. Keep getting him this way. Good. Blasting there. You guys want you to go after... Uh, come back this way, actually. Oh, and there goes Emmerich. There we go. Whew. Let's try to kill this hero. We're not going to wound him or kill this hero if we can. There we go. Uh, probably not. She's going to make it. She's going to share it. It's pretty armored. The Glaive's doing good damage, though. 179 kills on these guys. Oh my gosh. Against Hiles, that's pretty good. They're just sitting there, went through most of their ammo. Wow. 
awesome work with these guys. How much damage? Yeah, 17,000 damage in one unit of fire clay. So I love it. These guys. Yeah, I think our blundies did well. They we, they were in pretty good fire positions. And again, this hill, this slight increase in elevation here for our range units really made a difference here. Awesome. Close victory. I'll take it. Whew. That was a fun battle. Oh, it's fire glaives. Oh my gosh. It's a cool unit. Be curious to make a big stack of them. Because they are, uh, you know, they're a glaive unit. They're basically like a halberd, anti large armor piercing melee. So, yeah, pretty flexible in their, uh, in their utility application. Alright, cool. Let's grab. Uh, it's not a ton of replenishment. Let's just take the money. That's a pretty good sum of money there. Good. Yeah, you got away. That's alright. Nice. Fire resistance. Next bonus for Slarge for Drazwith. Awesome. Very cool, very cool. Alright guys, I'm going to call it there for this episode. And yeah, again, I appreciate all your guys' support. You guys are awesome. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, this was episode 23. Man, whew, that battle. My hand's kind of sore actually. That was a lot of clicking. That was a lot of clicking. Uh, Alright guys, well take care of yourselves and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you've been enjoying the content. Uh, and happy gaming and I will talk to you guys soon.